Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another video. But before I get started with the subject of this video, I want to give a huge shout out to my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks is a company that provides upgrade decals for modern Transformer figures along with reproduction decals for the vintage ones. While visiting Toy Hacks, make sure and check out the Toy Hacks Armory to see their line of Transformers weaponry in multiple colors and toy stages for awesome display backdrops. Each purchase from Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that you can use for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors, so make sure and check out ToyHacks.com and tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is the brand new Transformers Shattered Glass Jetfire. Now, I pre-ordered Jetfire way back in September from Hasbro Pulse, and he finally arrived today. And oh my god, this figure looks awesome. So real quick, let's take a look at the packaging. The box is that weirdly angled shattered glass box, which looks really cool. And I dig the colors with the bright pink, purple, and black. Very neon 80s looking. So we've got Jetfire right there behind the plastic. You can see his weapons and some blast effects there. Transformers, shattered glass. You've got the Autobot logo shattering the background. Right here on this angle, you've got Jetfire's head and shoulders. Side of the box is more of that same artwork with more of Jetfire being shown. On the back of the packaging, we've got Jetfire in robot mode with all his parts and pieces, robot mode with all the parts and pieces attached, and jet mode. This side of the box, more of that great looking artwork. So yeah, I cannot wait to get this guy opened up out of the packaging because Siege Jetfire was one of my favorites of the line. And from what I can tell, there's nothing new to Shattered Glass Jetfire. He is just a straight up repaint of this guy. So this isn't going to be that much of a review, but more of a comparison. So let's go ahead and get Jetfire opened up out of the packaging and check him out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now, once you get Shattered Glass Jetfire all opened up and out of the packaging, you will see that he comes with a sheet of instructions, a really big sheet of instructions, that, as usual, is very well illustrated and easy to follow. He also comes with two double blasters, his chest armor with his battle mask here on the inside, Two of these sets of missiles or cannons. His double-barreled rifle that can also split into two single-barreled weapons. And, of course, two sets of combining blast effects. So these do pop apart into three different sections. So I guess you got six blast effects all in one. And, of course, you've got Jetfire himself. Now, as I said in the intro, this Shattered Glass Jetfire is just a flat-out repaint of Siege Jetfire here, though done in a gloriously evil purple and black. Now, of course, my Jetfire has been enhanced thanks to Toy Hex decals, so he's going to look a little bit different than your regular retail release. But before we get to comparing the two figures, let's compare all the accessories. First up, we have Shattered Glass Jetfire's chest armor, and I love the paint applications on this with the dark purple, the lime green, silver, and black. It just looks so good. And the one thing I've noticed with the Shattered Glass Jetfire is Hasbro did a lot better with the paint applications. Here, for comparison, is Siege Jetfire's chest piece, and I just think the Shattered Glass one looks a lot better, and it may be just because they took the time and painted that center section silver 
which really, in my opinion, makes the whole thing pop. Now, as I said, I do have toy hacks on this one, but that's just right there in a couple of spots. So I really, really like the looks of the chest armor. Now let's go ahead and pop out the battle mask. I remember when I got the first jet fire, I thought my battle mask wasn't included because I never look at the instructions first. But there we have the battle mask. And once again, looks really good. I love the black and silver. Translucent plastic up there for the forehead jewel and translucent plastic for the visor. Now we'll bring out Siege Jetfire's mask. And this one was really plain. It was just all white with the blue jewel on the forehead and he did have a translucent visor. That's been covered up thanks to toy hacks. But yeah, once again, the shattered glass version looks so much better. And now we'll take a look at Shattered Glass Jetfire's rifle. And once again, they just did so much better with the paint applications on this one. We've got black for the main body of the gun, silver for the barrels, and then they added purple down here for the grips, which really make this thing pop. Bringing in Siege Jetfire's blaster, it was all black with a little bit of silver for the barrels, and that was it. The decal right there is from Toy Hacks. So once again, shattered glass wins in the paint application department. Now, of course, you can split them apart. So you have single barrel weapons and still the paint carries over very, very well. Points, once again, for shattered glass. Now we'll take a look at the double barrel cannons. And since both of these are exactly the same, we'll just take a look at one of them. And I love the paint applications. We got a black base, purple top there, and silver for the barrels. Taking a look at Siege Jetfires, his was all black with silver barrels. The decals right there are toy hexes. So, man, they shattered glass is killing it with paint application. We've got the missiles or lasers, whatever these things are. You know, they can pop apart, so there's two, two sets of these. These are exactly the same. There is no difference between the Shattered Glass ones and Siege. So, there you go. Lastly, we have the Blast Effects, and I love the coloring on Shattered Glass Jetfire's Blast Effects. These look really cool, especially how they are very translucent. Usually, I'm not a big fan of translucent plastic, but it carries over pretty well with a blast effect. Now, one of mine right there is warped, so I'm hoping my boiling water trick will work on that. So we've got your shattered glass blast effect right here compared to siege blast effect. So, like I said, I like the translucent look of the blue. It just looks more like an energy bolt. So now let's take a look at the main event, the figures themselves. And now we have the main event, Jetfire himself. And as I said earlier, I absolutely love the black and purple collar scheme on Siege Jetfire. I've always liked that collar scheme for the evil Decepticons, though really not that many Decepticons had it. I know Skywarp was black and purple, the Insecticons were black and purple, but it really wasn't a lot. But this color scheme just screams evil Decepticon for me. Or I guess it's evil Autobot now. Now, speaking of Autobot, that's one slight issue with this new color scheme is the purple Autobot insignia kind of blends into all the back. Now, it does have the same feature as Shattered Glass Jetfire, or excuse me, as Siege Jetfire, that you can, if you get your thumbnail in good enough, flip the insignia around to a red Decepticon logo, and that pops. I really like the looks of that. But if I left him that way, he would be a good guy. Now, of course, since there's way more evil Autobots than evil Decepticons, I may get then, and I'm getting all confused with Shattered Glass. Since there's way more evil Autobots than heroic Decepticons, I may leave him a Decepticon. So, taking a closer look at the two together, 
As I said, the only real differences with these two is the paint applications. And the figure himself doesn't have as many drastic paint application changes as the armor. But still, it looks really, really good. I do love the red eyes, the green jewel there on the forehead. The red eyes pop way more than Siege Jetfire's blue eyes. Moving on down, he's got the translucent cockpit that mine's covered over with a Toy Hex decal. And, you know, it's, it's the exact same figure. If you have Siege Jetfire, you're going to know exactly what you're getting with Shattered Glass Jetfire. Now, if you want to see a full comprehensive review of this figure, check out my Siege Jetfire review in the link above. Now, one of the things I was really hoping for with Shattered Glass Jetfire was to fix some of the issues that I had with Siege Jetfire, mainly the loose hips, which they didn't fix at all. They're still really loose. The wrists that pop out of their little connector port way too easy. And when you're moving the arm, actually, nope, it's still an issue here. The arms do not peg in that well. So that was my main complaint with Siege Jetfire. I wish they fixed it for him, but alas, they did not. So now I'm really looking forward to seeing this. Let's compare the two robots in their armored versions. Now, right there is the money shot. That image of Shattered Glass Jetfire completely armored up is what sold me on this figure. I just did not like the looks of Siege Jetfire with all the armor. I don't know why it may be because it really took away from his cartoon and comic look that I grew up with. But Shattered Glass, on the other hand, he looks awesome with the armor. The addition of the green really make the figure pop. And look at the battle mask. Look how you can see the red eyes shining through the battle mask. I love that. I know when Toy Hex comes out with their eventual decal set, they'll probably have a decal that'll give that completely red or green eyes. I may leave that transparent because that looks amazing. This is such an awesome figure. For just a repaint, I couldn't be happier. I love this guy. He looks so cool. So now let's take a look at the two figures in jet mode. And here we have the jet fires in jet mode. And just like robot mode, shattered glass jet fires jet mode looks amazing. Just absolutely love the purple, black, silver, and green color scheme on this guy. And this is such a great toy. It's just a gigantic fun toy. And this jet mode is amazing. Love 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 those paint applications got the translucent green upper cockpit here the translucent green cockpit there and inside is the little brain module that siege jetfire came with now there is no difference between those two brain modules at all so i'm not even gonna pull out jetfires but man this thing looks amazing of course it's got landing gear, which is a big plus. A lot of jet transformers, they tend to leave out the landing gear. So yeah, there they are together. Just fantastic. I love this toy. So these are jet fire in regular jet mode. And you can take the weapons, all the different accessories. And it looks like a little drone here. And you can attach this to the back of the jet. The gun, double barrel gun, actually forms the middle of this thing. You just bring the tail fins down and attach this up here. And, of course, that pops right off. I don't like how these peg in, but it is what it is. Let me get that attached real quick. So there we have Shattered Glass Jetfire in his Super Jet mode. And we'll do the same here for... Siege jet fire, so you can get a nice comparison of the two. Try not to touch the sides on that one. So there we go. There is the armored up jet mode for jet fire. I love this toy. This thing is just so awesome. And if you didn't know, the blast effects do work. 
you can plug the blast effects here into the ends of the blasters. I saw someone post on Facebook or maybe another YouTube video that their blast effects did not stick in the weapons. I have no problem with mine whatsoever. They can go in the barrels of the guns or what I like to do, plug them right there in the thrusters. So there you got jet fire whew, taking off. I love it. This thing is just awesome. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Transformer Shattered Glass Jetfire with Shattered Glass Optimus Prime, Shattered Glass Ratchet, Shattered Glass Blur, and Shattered Glass Goldbug. And because I know someone's going to ask for it in the comments, here's a group shot of all the evil Shattered Glass Autobots. I couldn't be happier with my Transformers Shattered Glass Jetfire. Yes, this figure is just a repaint, but he is a repaint done right. And thank God, because this was an expensive repaint. I love the extra added attention to detail that Hasbro gave Shattered Glass Jetfire with the paint applications. They really make this figure pop. And this guy is going to look awesome on my shelf. So there you go, guys. Transformers Shattered Glass Jetfire. So, does a Transformers Shattered Glass Jetfire belong in your collection? Well, if you're a Shattered Glass completionist, absolutely. If you missed out on the Siege Jetfire, absolutely. If you're just a fan of this mold, absolutely. I love this figure. Yes, he's just a repaint but what a glorious repaint he is. Now, one of the issues I've noticed recently when I looked this guy up, just following up on uh, for a friend on uh, Hasbro Pulse, this Jetfire has already sold out on Hasbro Pulse, and I do know that this Jetfire as well is really hard to come by, so this already is starting to become a rare figure. So if you see this guy, do not hesitate. Pick him up especially if you do not have this figure. Now, I did forget to mention in my intro that he did come with a comic book sealed in a plastic bag with a backing board. It's not a great backing board, but hey, at least it just wasn't in there flopping around loose. I do wish, though, that they were able to fix some of the issues with this figure with the floppy legs, the loose wrists, and the shoulders that pop out. But still, I can't complain that much at all. Plus, I love the fact how good he looks in his battle armor compared to Siege Jetfire. I'm going to display Siege Jetfire just like this on my shelf and Shattered Glass like this. They look like two completely different figures, and I love it. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I want to give a huge shout out to all my current channel members because it's your support that help keep this channel going. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!